District and Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. It's opening night 2014 and we've got a good matchup here between the National League All-Stars and the American League All-Stars. Hi again, everybody. It's finally here. Welcome to our special opening day edition of Baseball on the Show. for weeks is finally here. It's opening night. It's the show. And it's coming up next. is ready to erupt as their guys get set to take the field. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, the American League now we'll look at the two men named by their managers to get the ball here to begin this all-star game. More from the guys as this one goes along but first let's have a look at the batting order for the National League All-Stars as manager Mike Matheny will line his guys up this way. They'll go to work against no small task indeed. The 2010 American League Cy Young Award winner, King Felix, right-hander Felix Hernandez. move towards the batter's boxes we're just about set to get underway tonight and the first pitch of the ball game is taken for a called strike one and a new season of baseball is underway That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Temperature at first pitch, there it is, 79 degrees as we get things started tonight. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. And if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. A one-two pitch from Felix. Now a swing and a miss on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is set down here for the first out of the evening. So the leadoff man is set down to commence this midsummer classic. And with that, let's take a look here at the lineup defensively for the American League. It's brought to us by Majestic. Yasiel Puig digs in at the plate. Swing and a miss on a ball in his eyes. One strike. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. And if he got caught chasing the high fastball on 0 and 1, you can bet he's going to see another one on 0 and 2. Good job to lay off that one.
And this ball will be chopped foul. One, two. Got him. Going to get his strikeout. No question about that. But this is too straight here to start things off. Wonder if just a sign of things to come. Troy Tulowitzki will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. And he hits the bottom of the strike zone here with the sinker. Strike one. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. Lewitsky can't come up with that one as he falls behind 0-2 now. And he's really going to have to fight now. you got to take a little bit out of your swing and find a way to put this ball in play. And he'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. and two. On 0-2, and two, if that's a curveball, a, a changeup, a sinker, then maybe you get a guy to chase but it's much easier to lay off a pitch down there when it's a straight fastball. Now Asenka runs in on him a bit as he's got to step out of the way there. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. Come on now. Oh, he took a big swing that time as he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And Sally will make the play here to retire the side. Starting lineup for the AL Stars is on your screen. They'll have to match up against one of the very best around these past few seasons, the hard-throwing right-hander Adam Wainwright. And there you see a look at the defensive starters for the National League. Derek Jeter. Here's Derek Jeter now in his 20th and final Major League season. Made that official back in February as he'll stand in here. First pitch of the inning is bounced up the middle and they're going to get themselves a base runner rather quickly here as that's into center field for a leadoff single. So far, so good. They get a scoreless top of the first and now a leadoff single to start things in their half. Mike Trout will stand in for the first time now, and he does so with 22 home runs on the ledger so far. Big hole on the right side. Here's the first pitch. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Taking it in is Puig, and there's your first out. Well, he gave up a hit with the first pitch he threw. Now he gets an out with the second. At least we'll have a quick game on our hands if this keeps up. Robinson Cano will dig in for the first time now. He's got that average up nearing the 340 mark to begin playing. And he's no doubt searching for a ground ball here as this sinker dips below the knees. It's 1 and 0. Oh. And a 
pitch out with Jeter staying put. A look at Jeter now the pitch. Three and oh now. Danger looms on deck here in the person of Miguel Cabrera. Runner at first here, one man out. In tight as this pitch misses, and it's a four-pitch walk. Even for a veteran pitcher, big games like this will bring out the butterflies. He's going to need to settle in here, really work on getting a ground ball. Miguel Cabrera will get his first opportunity now. 14 home runs to his credit so far this year. Jeter leads from second, the pitch. And a cut fastball in there for a strike. It's 0-1. Ah, uh, good pitch right there, right on the heels of a walk. He needed to get ahead of the next guy, and he did just that. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One pitch is a sinker taken for a strike one and two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now another pitch is hit foul and headed for the seats, so the count will stay put at one and two. Tries to get him to chase the curve all the way, but it breaks outside. Two and two now. And you know, this is what the good ones do. They can wait you out up there. They sort of foul pitches off. They take pitches. They make the pitcher come to you. Now a 58-foot curveball that misses for a ball. Wow, what an at-bat he's having right now. He's fought off some tough pitches. He's laid off a few pitches like that one. And now he's worked his way back to a 3-2 and two count. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Now a swing and he pops it foul behind the plate. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now the three and two pitch. To right field. Puig is right there as he takes it for the second out. Yeah, that was a really good battle right there. It took him a lot of pitches to finally get the fly ball out. Now, obviously, you're not going to get on base, but I wouldn't consider that a waste of that bat at all. Jose Bautista will get his first opportunity now. And he lays off a pitch here that he probably shouldn't have. 0-1. Two down, runners at first and second. And that misses one and one. Good lead there at second. Here's the pitch. Sinker is right there for a called strike two.
swing and a ball hit hard to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. Around third and being waved on home. And the opening salvo is fired here as they take a one to nothing lead. Boy, he comes through with a two out, two strike RBI. That's a real confidence builder right there. And conversely, that's very deflating if you're out there on the mound. Nelson Cruz will stand in looking to keep this first inning rally hot. First pitch is a sinker for a called strike one. Now this first inning's been a rough one already. He needs an out here in the worst way. Yeah, and you don't want to get caught having to play catch up this early in the ball game. So you're right. He's got to work his way out of this jam right now. And he gives this one a pretty good ride down the left field line. And this will wind up being nothing more than a long foul ball, and it'll hold the count at 0 and 2. Hard hit towards center. McCutcheon is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. So it's one run on two hits, no errors, and two men left on base. On to the second inning now for Minneapolis. It's the American League one and the National League nothing. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in now. And as you can see, he enters play with 16 home runs on the season so far. High and tight here to begin the inning. It's ball one. And this is fouled back and out of play. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And the pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Don't want to lose the leadoff hitter here. Not when you got this guy on deck. Let's go. And a swing and a ball hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. We'll show you this delivery again in show motion. I mean, this is a big guy out there. He relies on throwing a good, hard fastball. So, so he's got to have everything in perfect alignment to get those few extra miles per hour. And that's part of what makes him such a good pitcher. Sean Crello Stanton will get his first opportunity here. And as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Oh, and he just blows the fastball by him for strike one. Ah, that thing's knee high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. He's found a pretty nice rhythm out here early on. Tried to work it back to that low inside corner, but it misses one and two. Good change up right there down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on. So that's a great job to lay off. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Well, it's been something of a strikeout fest here to start this game off. Already four strikeouts now in the first five batters. Now that's going to be a tough pace to keep up. Ramos Ramirez will stand in here hoping to at least put a ball in play here this inning. Yeah. 
out of play. Fouled back. Here's Hernandez now on 0 and 2. And a great inning here as he gets another punch out and strikes out the side in order. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Adam Jones will stand in for the first time now, and he's got that average up over the 300 mark to begin play. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. This for Utley at second. Throw over by Utley, one away. With one away, we'll give you a look at last year's leaders in the war category, wins above replacement. And now here's Steve Lyons to explain in detail what that means. Uh, what, the higher the better? Is, is that the way it works? But you see our next hitter featuring prominently on that list with good reason. Josh Donaldson will dig in, and this season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. And that misses for ball one. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Very patient here in these opening few innings. And I think that's exactly what they're going to need to do. The more hitters counts that you can get yourself in, the more fastballs you're going to see. And this is a good fastball hitting team. Outside, 3-0 now. Seems like they're working very cautiously here. Is this a little too cautious? Yeah, I mean, why are they giving this guy so much credit up there? He's someone that you got to come right after. Now a check swing, but he makes contact and hits it out in front of the plate. Oh. Throw on to first, and Wainwright has it working now. Two away. Yeah, you could see he tried to hold back on the swing, but he already committed himself too far. And this becomes a waste of an at-bat and an easy ground out. Salvador Perez will get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. First pitch to him. In tight oh, with the curveball. Backed up on him a little there, and it's ball one. That trying to go front door with that breaking ball started it a little too far inside, though. And he misses again, 2 0. Oh. And I think with no one on base, you know, this is a guy you need to come after. I certainly wouldn't be afraid to give him a fastball here. That one's in there on the black two and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Can't connect there. It's two and two. Full count, three and two. Boy, you have got to make this guy swing the bat here on this next pitch. This is not the guy you want to lose. Come on. Here we go. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. Puig 
will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. A scoreless half inning there from Adam Wainwright. His club trails 1-0. Chase Utley will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. swing as he pulls this one into right but this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first down first pitch swing in here to start the inning and he didn't waste any time waiting for his pitch he got it right there just hit it right at somebody one away now here's the catcher Jonathan Lucroy Up and in for ball one. Here's Jeter at short. And he'll put it away now without much of a problem. Two gone now here in the third. And he'll take a long exhale on his way back to the dugout. When he looks back on the tape of this, he'll realize that he needs to be a little more committed to his swing. He had no chance of that working out well for him. Carlos Gomez will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Now, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. And Gomez not biting on that one either. It's 2 0 now. Well, it's looking like this might be their best chance to get that first base runner out there. And really, this has been one of the few guys that's even been ahead in the count. Too tight with that one. Three and oh. Andrew McCutcheon would be next. And that's finally over for a strike. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on two and oh. They are still hitless, but at least they'll have a base runner here. It's ball four. And I may not know a whole lot about pitching, but what I do know is this is not the guy you want to be putting on base with a walk. That definitely puts the stolen base in order now with two away. Andrew McCutcheon will dig in now, hoping to perhaps make him pay for the two-out walk. Fastball here as you'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Now you've got the tying run over at first, two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. Here's a one oh. Cold strike at the knees, one and one. Two out with the man at first. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Foul back.
Here's the two and two home. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. And now the runners will get a head start here with two away. And that's an important factor, too, because that's the tying run over there at first base. So he's likely scoring on an extra base hit. And a good swing there as this is deep down the line and right, but this is going to wind up out of play. The next 3 2. Ball hit out towards Cano at second. And as it turns out, the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. We'll see Derek Jeter when we come back. It's the American League one and the National League nothing. There you see Derek Jeter now. He'll lead things off here in this one run contest. Derek. Back yeah. on the hill is Wayne right now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. Nothing in one. Come on. And that misses downstairs for a ball. One and one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now he swings and barely makes contact here as this is back toward the mound. And he's set down one away. Mike Trout will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And a foul tip held on to here at strike one. A lot of people think that pitch will burn straight down, but it will work back a little bit towards righties, like that one did right there. one is lifted in the air out to right there to make the play is Puig for route number two yeah it, it took him a few batters to get it going in the first but after that first inning run he's come back to retire the next six in a row Robinson Cano will stand in he drew base on balls his first time Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Two out, nobody on. And he misses again to Cano. It's 2-0 oh now. Two really close pitches to kick off this at bat. Normally, this guy would be all over him. But he's shown some discipline here with two good takes. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. Oh. Now that he's worked it to three and zero, oh, he's got a couple of free pitches here to pick out one he really likes. Here we go. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Yeah, that, that's pretty clearly a pitch around. They didn't want any part of it. With the bases empty and two outs, walks not the worst thing in the world. First 
pitch coming from Wainwright. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now you give that same good hitter an opportunity to drive you in with just a base hit. Two and oh. Hey, it's danger any way you look at it right here. You've got a base open, but you've got an even better hitter waiting on deck. So I don't think I'd be working around this guy. I'd be forced to go right after him. Here's a swing and a miss on the cut fastball, two and one. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. And he'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Two out here and a runner at second. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Close to the bag, it's second there, now the pitch. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. So no runs here, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Three innings complete. It's the American League one and the National League nothing. Yasiel Puig will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Here's the first pitch to him. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Now you can't look for a specific pitch. You just got to protect the plate. The one-two pitch from Felix. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now. Three and two. On deck, there you see Troy Tulowitzki. Full count pitch on its way. Uh, got him on a good slider there. Swung on and missed as he's down on strikes for the second time tonight. So with that, let's call on the guys in the graphics department to put up the pitch speed comparison for the two starters. And you can see there both guys getting it up into the 90s, 92 and 94, respectively. Troy Tulowitzki will dig in. He popped out in foul territory his first time. Now here's the first pitch. And he catches the inside corner for a called strike. Nothing in one. Yeah, a little surprising he didn't offer it that one. That was a dangerous spot for a good fastball hitter. And this one misses to Tulowitzki. It's a ball and a strike. Oh, yeah. Now a swing, and he popped him up. And no ordinary pop up at that. This is way up there.
And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Boy, that's a good take there. I don't think I could have laid off that one. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. On deck, the powerful right-handed bat of Paul Goldschmidt. And they are still hitless, but at least they'll have a base runner here. It's ball four. Hey, you know what? That's all right. He gave him a pretty good battle up there, and he never gave in to him. A walk you can work around. A home run, you can't. Paul Goldschmidt will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Right. And a ball 1 and 0. Oh. Check by Hernandez. The pitch. Now a ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Down low, two balls and a strike. towards second pitch inside the throw and he's not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw we've already seen the ball's not really traveling all that well here tonight so both these managers might start thinking we got to shake it up a little here offensively so they turn him loose here and he's into scoring position with the stolen base And he misses again, ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on balls. Yeah, back-to-back -back walks for him now. And he hasn't looked like he's wanted any part of these number three or four guys. He's going to have to shift gears now, though, because he's still got a dangerous number five guy ahead of him. Giancarlo Stanton will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. Well, not really how you want to start the next guy after a walk. That pitch isn't even close. One and one. No runs, no hits. And no errors on the NL line score thus far. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. Ready with the 2-1. Two, 2-2. Two two. Ah, now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. And fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. Well, right now, he is just carving him up, dare I say, like a Thanksgiving turkey. That's seven strikeouts already, and he's made it look easy so far. Ramos Ramirez will get a shot here with two on and two out here in the fourth. Not much of a lead at second. Now here's the pitch. And this is taken outside for ball one. And with two walks in the inning already, he can't afford to fall behind anybody else if he wants to stay in the game. Off the plate again, 2-0 now. And after the strikeout his first time around, I think he was able to use that first at-bat as a learning experience. Those have both been real good takes. Down. 
Two and one now. and lifts an easy fly ball into shallow center field. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. A couple of walks, but no damage. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday Night Baseball after this. Jose Bautista will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. Back on the hill is Wayne right now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man, nothing and one. So tough to hang in there on that pitch, but you got to do it. You can't give up that inside corner, or this guy will eat you alive. And this catches the zone as well. It's 0-2 now. And they may have found a location that they like right here. Two different pitches, both taken on the inside corner, and now they can go just about anywhere they want. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he's able to take the curveball the other way here. High and deep to right center. And he started the home fourth in style. It's a home run. A solo home run that time off the bat of Jose Batista, number 18. For him on the campaign as the American League moves out in front here two to nothing. Well, he's been the entire show here tonight. Remember, he drove in their only run earlier, and he continues to have a nice game as he launches this one way out. Of Nelson Cruz will stand in. A line-out victim his first time. And this ball sits sharply toward the first base coaching box. It's a foul ball. Grounded to third. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. The center fielder number 10, Adam Jones. Adam Jones will dig in with one in and one away. First pitch coming from Wainwright. And he'll look at a first pitch curveball that's in the dirt. It's ball one. Not close. It's 2-0. Oh. Well, until he proves that he can get that breaking ball over the plate, I, I think you sit on something else. On good opposite field power here as this fastball is taken high and deep to right. In there, a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's going to make it there. Barely as he's into second base with a double. Josh Donaldson will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. Sinker runs outside to start the at bat one and zero. Oh. In for a strike, it's one and one. 
much better sinker there. I, I think that's the one he wanted to throw to start the at bat. Runner not going anywhere at second. Now the pitch. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Due up next is Salvador Perez. Too far in here, he lost him on ball four. I think the second year right now might be that train whistle to pull into the station for the final time. Look, he's given his all out there, but you start to get the sense that this guy may have reached the end of the line. Salvador Perez will try it again. He flew out his first time. Runners are breaking. Line hard left, but pretty much right at the left fielder as he takes it in for the second out. And this one could have been big trouble here, but this carries out there just far enough to find the outfielder's glove. And that means that both runners, neither of whom were running on contact, are forced to head back to where they started. Derek Jeter will dig in here. One for two. He singled and grounded out so far. Short lead from second, now the pitch. And a curveball in for a strike. Two runs, four hits. No errors thus far for the American League. Curveball close, but it's one and one. And Jeter lays off here as the count moves to two and one. A two out hit here would be nice, but a two out walk wouldn't be the worst thing in the world either. And a strike. Threw him a breaking ball that time, two and two. And even though you got a two run lead, you don't want to be leaving too many guys in scoring position out there. That could come back to bite you later. swing and a chance for Goldschmidt over at first and he'll step on the bag himself and the inning is over so one run here on two hits with the big blow being the home run no errors and a couple of men left on to the top of inning number five we go it's the American League two and the National League nothing Chase Utley will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth Second baseman, Chase Hutley. Swinging a ball yanked down the right field line. And this is going to be extra bases here to kick off the fifth. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. This is how you make life difficult for that pitcher out there. He's going to get to make one pitch from the windup and then go right into the stretch because this is a bullet down the line. That's a great at bat there as he gets him going with a first pitch double. Jonathan Lucroy will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. And this is on the outside corner for strike one. A 
Shaw doesn't want any part of the curveball either. It's 0-2 now. Yeah, he came with a little bit of a different look that time. This pitch is also in their knee high, and now they've got him behind in the count, 0-2. Tried to get him out front, but it's a ball one and two. And even on one and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking here. You've got to put this ball in play. Runner staying tight to the bag at second. Here's the pitch. And that just misses the corner inside to even the count at two and two. center and they're going to slice this deficit back down to one as this should be good for extra bases and they are on the board as the run scores from second to make this a 2-1 game now deja vu here to start off the inning you get a double to lead things off followed by another double here and they get a quick run as one guy will just replace the other at second base Carlos Gomez will dig in Drew a walk his first time around. And this is low, but it's roped in quickly, and that runner will hold at second base. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. And then just one pitch later, he basically turns a double into a triple. This is going to be scored a wild pitch right here. Next pitch for Felix will be number 75 in the ball game. And the pitch bounces off his glove, and that could be a run. Oh, and he'll make it back in safely at third. And this is fouled back and out of play. Ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. On deck, there's Andrew McCutcheon. He'll hit next. Takes ball four, so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. And you can see the pitching coach heading for the mound, and this is nothing more than just trying to reassure your guy and give him a chance to compose himself. He's been great so far, so there's no reason to think that he can't work out of this. Andrew McCutcheon will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Rolled softly down the line, and that is a foul ball. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in two. does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Runners are at first and third with none out. And he struck him out. Strikeout number eight now in the ballgame for him. And with where that pitch was, there's no doubt he was hoping to get a ground ball out of this, but 
I think he'll be more than happy to take the strikeout instead. Yasiel Puig will stand in now. A punch-out victim twice already. E.K., I'll ask you because you're the one sitting next to me. Do you approach an at-bat differently when you have two strikeouts under your belt this early in the game? Well, you do in the sense that whatever you did the first two times, it wasn't working. But I think if you start worrying too much about trying to avoid the hat trick or, or worse, it'll start becoming a mind game. You'll start falling into some pretty bad habits. Ball hit high and foul down the left field line. It's strike one. And they pitch out here, but nothing's going on. Up high, two and one now. A well, much better approach here at the plate so far. Well, he's not working from behind in the count like he has his first few at bats. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. Well, as if things weren't bad enough, he's in danger now of loading the bases for that man. Yeah, I don't think that's ever a sound strategy in anybody's book. And he'll try to hold back the swing, but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. Here's the first offering. And a first pitch slider is right there for strike one. We've talked about all the strikeouts. The only side effect is right there, though. He's run up a pretty high pitch count now. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Well, one thing we've seen from this guy on the mound so far, when he makes bad pitches, they typically miss out of the strike zone. They don't miss in the zone where they can be crushed. Hold them down. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Boy, he's got to get with the program here. That's an important run down there at third. He can't be chasing pitches like that. Another change. This one's low. It's two balls and two strikes. Go, That's a good idea, one and two right there, just to see if he'd chase. But now with the count even, I think this one has to be in the strike zone because you don't want to run the risk of loading the bases for the cleanup guy. There goes Gomez. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Hernandez will go to first, hey, good. and he'll get back in safely. Runners at the corners, two men out. Here comes a 2-2. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ballgame, and the inning is over. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. 
Middle of the night now from the Twin Cities. It's the American League Two and the National League One. Pat Nation is going to take over here in inning number five as it's going to be up to their bullpen to try and keep them in the game here. Mike Trout will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. Oh, and a good tight slider there, and he's in command, nothing in two. And this is how he's just going to mess with your mind up there. You wind up taking the pitches that are in the strike zone, and then you chase after the ones that are nowhere close. You know what? That is good pitching. I can't get him to bite this time. It's one and two. Now here's the pitch. On, he squares this one nicely, and it's lined into center field for a leadoff single. You talk about getting the bat head out in front. <laughs> this is rifled up the middle. Can't square up a baseball any better than that. The second baseman, Robinson Cano, will stand in. Base on balls his last time. Swing and a ground ball to first. And Cano, don't you know, is going to reach. It's a base hit. Textbook starts at the inning right there. Back to back hits have him in a good position. Maybe stretch out this one run lead. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. He'll hold off on the slider to start the at-bat. It's ball one. And you can bet they'll pitch him carefully with a couple guys on base. <laughs> ball two now. Does he dare go fastball here 2-0? Oh? I think he's got to. Three and oh now. And now, forget it. He's not getting anything. And a good comeback there. It's three and one. Well, uh, how about that? I thought he'd be on his way to first right about now. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Full count now, three and two. Yeah, pretty easy to get anxious there on a three one count. That was a great time to call for the changeup. Reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Wow, quite a turn of events here. He goes from in the driver's seat, 3 0, to falling victim to the strikeout. And in hindsight, you go back to that 3 0 pitch, and I got to believe he wishes he was swinging. Jose Batista will get another shot. He homered his last time.
first pitch is a slider down low. It's 1-0. On the ground for Ramirez. This could be two. Utley for one. On to Goldschmidt. A double play. Inning over. Around the horn they go. Five to four to three to end the threat. Back with more on opening day after this. Paul Goldschmidt will stand in to lead off the inning. Middle third of the lineup, four, five, and six, as they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run, that's it. Action in the bullpen now as a right-hander begins to throw out there. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. and E.K., the starter creeping up on 100 pitches now, but that number alone doesn't appear to be affecting him too much at all. Yeah, he still looks sharp. Still, with the way the teams handle pitchers nowadays, I don't think he'll wind up going much further. And this one runs a little too far in. Ball two. Come on now. Let's get a right here. The pitch. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Fouled straight back. And he reaches out for one and may have chased it as this is skied into the air to straightaway center. And the sixth inning opens with a flyout, one away. Matt Slider's been an effective pitch for him, no doubt, as you take a look there what his pitch breakdown looks like so far. Giancarlo Stanton will stand in, and he, like so many others, hitless in the ballgame so far. First pitch coming. Ball runs in on him here as this is flared out towards second. Throw to first to be in time, and Hernandez looking good here with two away. Boy, a first pitch out is nice anytime, but when you've already thrown over 100 pitches, that's a gift. Aramis Ramirez will stand in now. He's struck out and flied out 0 for 2 thus far. Donnie straightens him up with a fastball that time. It's ball one. Mm, he did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. In tight again, and it's to 2 and 0 now. Well, he almost hit him on the last pitch, and he's showing he doesn't care. He's coming right back inside. I'm feeling good about this one. Oh, I he bet won't. he'd like to have that swing back. It's two and one now. And that man right there, he's got to figure out some kind of combination to score some runs for him. They have really been scuffling. Ball three. Nice going up. Low scoring game thus far. Two to one here in the sixth. And this one misses inside a ball. He walked him, and they've got themselves a two out base runner. Mm. Tough take there on three and one. I mean, if this pitch missed the inside corner, it did not miss by much. But he's going to reach base anyway. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Let's go. 
They'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. A runner on first with two away. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Yeah, and that fastball still got some life to it, even over 100 pitches. And he misses two and one. From the stretch. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. One left for the National Leaguers. They still trail it here, two to one. Nelson Cruz will be the batter as we get things going in the bottom of the sixth. Nelson Cruz. Sinkers in there, no balls in a strike. and a bouncing ball to third. Throw by Ramirez is in time for the first out. The center fielder number 10, Adam Jones. Adam Jones will dig in. He doubled his last time. First pitch here misses wide, 1 0. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. And he didn't even have to think twice about that one. And now he's got a good hitter's count here, 2 0. Outside and low, three and zero. Oh. And from where I'm sitting, you know, this guy looks to be a guy that's starting to rush out there now. Might not be a bad idea for the catcher to try and slow him down a bit. Three zero is on the way, and that's Eight. over three and one. And at the plate, he might have been told, "Look, you're taken until you get a strike." Not a bad idea. And this is bounced weakly down the line, a foul ball. Three, two, here it comes. And he lost him here on three, two as that pitch misses. It's ball four. Yeah, they went to the slider there on three and two, and that's a pitch where you're really hoping a hitter will see fastball and swing through it. But it didn't work out that time. He winds up losing him. Josh Donaldson will stand in. Base on balls his last time. First pitch on the way. In there for strike one, 0 oh and 1. And 
that swung on and fouled straight back. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. In a game like this, you hope that the bottom half of your order can pick up the slack here. But this isn't going to help much. Go grab some bench. Salvador Perez will take another shot here. He's flied out and lined out in two trips. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. Two out with the man at first. Runners off for second. Hit and runs on here, and it's going to work to perfection as that's into the vacated area of base hit. Oh, and it makes such a difference when that pitch is up a little bit. It's not a bad pitch, really. It's on the outside corner. That slider is so much easier to handle when it's belt higher or higher, and he's able to just hit it hard the other way. Two away, and Derek Jeter will step in now and see what he can do with two on and two out here in the sixth. They set the target in, and this finds the inside corner for strike one. there is this is chopped foul. O2 pitch to Jeter. And a slider bounces and that gets away. And the recovery's not going to be in time at third and that should be ruled a wild pitch. Slider, but that's low as it's dug out by the catcher there. And when he's down 0-2, he's smart enough to know guys are going to try and get him to chase. So now at 2-2, two two, he's got himself back to a spot where he doesn't have to go after a pitcher's pitch. Hit hard to the right, but foul. Now a ball hit in the air, but in play perhaps down the line. Gomez is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and two men left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's a lead for the American League, 2-1. to one. Welcome back to Target Field here in Minneapolis. The American League out front in this one as we get set for the seventh. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of play. Jonathan Lucroy will stand in here to start the seventh in a game that's been sailing along to this point. Jonathan Lucroy. Gets around on the fastball here as this is hit fairly well out toward left field. Trout is there to put this one away, and it takes just one pitch to record the first out of the seventh. And you'll see where this pitch is. It's up, but it's up far enough that he can't quite get on top of it. And he winds up lifting a lazy fly ball. Carlos Gomez will stand in base on balls his last time. Here's a fastball called for strike one. That's one of those fastballs that just never feels like it's going to be a strike. It's up at the letters, and that's a tough one to do anything with. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact.
Still just one run on the ledger for Hernandez to this point. Hernandez readies the 1-1. On oh, the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down 1-2 and two now. <laughs> that got in his kitchen big time right there. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at 2-2. Two and two. And Hernandez won't get him to chase this one. It's a full count now, three and two. And a good job here of making him throw a lot of pitches. I mean, he probably doesn't have a whole lot left in the tank, so the more you make him work, the better your chances of getting a mistake. Uh, he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. This is a good job behind the plate. He knows the size of this ballpark, so he's just going to set up right down the middle. And he says, Let's not walk this guy. Let's make him hit it. Use our defense. We'll wind up throwing it right by. Andrew McCutcheon will stand in for the fourth time now. Still looking for his first hit of the ball game. And he's not the only one either. This has been a great pitching performance so far, and they've had these guys chasing their tails all game long. There's a good fastball from Hernandez that time. Strike one. And you can see him trying to be a little bit more patient here. He's got two strikeouts already, but he's got to be careful not to fall too far behind. And a sinker sinks too much there as it bounces into the catcher's glove. One and two now. And now he's made most of the hitters inside conscious. And of course, that opens up the outside corner when he has to go there. We're in the seventh inning now. The pitchers duel. Two to one our score. And he's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. So a strong inning there for Felix Hernandez. And it remains a two-one ball game. Tyler Clippard will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Tyler Clippard. Mike Trout will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And now we'll see some action in the bullpen as the lefty starts to get loose. Swing and a ball hit out toward right center. And he will make the catch on the full run. And there's a dandy of an out to start the inning. Um, this is a big inning here. You're down only one with the heart of the order coming up next time you get in. So that's a good first step. Robinson Cano will step in. A base hit in his last time. And the second pitch of the inning is hit on the ground out to short. Up with it now is Tulowitzki on the first, and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. The first baseman, number 24, Miguel Cabrera. Miguel Cabrera will stand in now, hoping to get on track as they've been able to neutralize his power out of the cleanup spot. 0 for 3 thus far. Now the first pitch. And he'll power in a fastball that time at 94 for strike one. You have to say they've really had a good game plan for attacking the three, four, five hitters all game long. Yeah, and I think the only thing that's better than a game plan has been the execution of that game plan. You're exactly right. They've held this lineup at bay. Here's a cutter that's off the plate, one and one. Now here's a swing and another chance out there at shortstop. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. One, two, three go the American League. They still lead it two to one.
Kalen Batensis will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Yasiel Puig will stand in to lead things off as the top of this batting order really hasn't been much of a factor so far. Yeah, and between the top three guys in this lineup, no hits between them. And you got to figure you're not going to win too many games when that's the case. On to the eighth now as the first pitch is a fastball that's looked at for ball one. Swung on and sent out to Jones in center field. And he puts it away for the first down. Eighth inning now in this all-star matchup as you get a look at the line score. The American Leaguers leading in this one as they close in on defeating their National League rivals. Troy Tulowitzki will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. Trying to jam him with the first pitch slider, but it's in a bit too tight for ball one. Let's go. Let's get this guy down. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Right there at the belt, one and two now. Two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Well, that's an opportunity wasted on the mound there. Uh, hitters got to be defensive on two and two, but that was so far outside. He didn't even have to worry about chasing it. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. That's an easy take right there on the 3-2 pitch. Not all that inviting at all. You want to at least make the guy think about hacking up there. Instead now he's on with one away. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. Paul Goldschmidt will step forward now following the walk as he'll hit with a definite speed threat at first and one away. You can bet he's going to see some fastballs in this half. Pat. I'd be looking dead red. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. and Oh, he checked his swing there and pops this one. Runners on first with one down. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. No nope. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Well, that's a pretty good spot to try and lock him up inside, but if that's out over the bat. Three and one now as that misses down and in. And you know, this has been a really good approach out there on the mound. He's keeping the ball down and he's not missing by much. 